another science short. I'm convinced that after this video, you're going to want to take one step closer to a bee. Today, we are talking about pollination and some of the important native critters that help move pollen around. Pollinators. Pollination is the process that flowering plants or angiosperms use to reproduce. In order to create new seeds and in turn to create new plants, pollen has to move from the stamen of one flower to the pistil of that flower or another flower. Some plants use wind or gravity or another natural force to move their pollen around, but many plants rely on special helpers to move their pollen from stamen to pistil. When most people think about pollinators, the first thing that comes to mind is the honeybee. The honeybee, more precisely called the European honeybee, is a really important pollinator, but it's only part of the story. There's all kinds of pollinators, from bats to beetles to even other bees, and some of them are just as interesting and important as their honeybee cousins. Take bumblebees, for example. Bumblebees are some of the bees that you'll see out earliest in the spring or on cold mornings flying around when it's too cold for other bees. How do they do this? Well, bumblebees are big and they're fuzzy, which helps them retain heat. And they have a special adaptation. They can shiver, moving their back muscles and heating their body up, just like if you're outside in the wintertime and you shiver to heat up. That way, they shiver, their wings don't move so they don't take off in flight, they warm up and once they're warm they can take off and go out pollinating. They're also really important for pollination. Take tomatoes for instance. Pollen of a tomato is packed really tightly within the flower and in order for it to get shaken off onto the pistils, something called buzz pollination needs to occur. Buzz pollination is when a bee buzzes really fast and shakes the pollen off. Honeybees can't buzz fast enough to do buzz pollination on tomatoes. But do you know what can? Bumblebees. Using that same adaptation where they can detach their wing muscles, they're able to shiver on that flower and buzz the pollen off. Beyond just tomatoes, native bees are out pollinating native plants across North America. From alkali bees pollinating alfalfa, to squash bees throwing themselves enthusiastically into zucchini blossoms, to sunflower bees pollinating sunflowers and other asters. Planting a diversity of flowers, especially native ones, that will flower throughout the year, will provide bees with food all year long and keep them coming around. 